right, we're back again with the Student Leadership Summit and we're here with Cameron Coger. He's a junior studying marketing and also our incoming student body vice president. Cameron, we wanted to ask you a little bit about your leadership journey here at K-State. Yeah, I came to K-State. Um, a lot of my family had went here before, so I always really wanted to come be a part of this family. And uh, I lived in Haymaker Hall. It was interesting because I come from a town of a thousand people and Haymaker had roughly 700 people. So my first semester, I was just like, this is awesome. I, I wanna meet every person in here, but I didn't really get involved with anything. Um, after my first semester, I talked to my parents at home. They're like, what did, you, what did you do first semester? And I didn't really have anything to say. So first email I got second semester, um, the intern program for the second um, semester for SGA was available. So I kind of went to a couple of those meetings and found out I could run to be in the student center. Um, I decided to run and I was lucky enough to um, get a position in the College of Business Student Senate. Um, once I was in it, I found that there were a lot of people in leadership roles that would reach out to me. Uh, Jansen Penny, Ryan Kelly, Hannah Heatherman, they all reached out to me and saw the potential that I had. And as someone brand new in Senate, that meant the world to me. Um, once I was in the Senate, I got to be involved in a bunch of committees and I found that I really, really enjoyed finance related activities. I wanted to do whatever I could to save money for students. Um, I was on the on-campus allocations, the travel allocations, student center tuition enhancement committee, and I wanted to take it even a step further. So when Tell was uh, elected student body president, I got a cabinet position as the student finance director, which meant that I got to serve on every single finance related committee. I loved it. Um, I also worked on initiatives to bring financial competence to students across the campus. And after that, I want to take it even a step further. Here I am, I decided to run for student body vice president and lucky enough that you guys believed in me, saw the work that I'd done and elected me into the position. I can't wait to continue um, serving in leadership roles on behalf of students and get to work as student body vice president. Awesome. And Cameron, if you had one piece of advice that you could share with maybe freshmen or incoming students who um, don't know how to get involved and really start growing as a leader, what is a piece of advice you might share with them? Yeah, I would say that you can't go wrong with trying something new, um, especially early on in college. You're going to dabble with some, you're not always going to have the perfect club the first meeting you go to. Um, keep trying until you find a niche that you really enjoy and then just really grow within it. Um, I would also really encourage people, I would encourage you not to get discouraged. Um, like I said, I wasn't involved in anything my first semester. It's not too late if you're a sophomore. It's not too late if you're a junior. There's always something that you can do and don't get into the comparison of your peers, like he's in all this, she's in all this. No, focus internally, do what you can do. Um, comparison's a thief of joy, so just maximize what, you've, what you're able to get a, involved in. 